welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 19th day of March, and it is Saturday, and today's topic for the Baptist Bread is titled, The Price of Service. And before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by Jesus. Amen. So make sure you get that settled in your heart today if you have not done so already. And if you're a fellow believer and you need some encouragement today, I we'll hope and pray that this broadcast will be a help and a blessing and encouragement to you to keep on going for the Lord. Amen. All right, we're going to start with today's scripture song, which is from 1 Timothy 3.16. So press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. 1 Timothy 3.16. <clears throat> And without, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Amen. Go. Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Godliness, godliness, that was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world. Up into glory, receive up into glory, receive up into glory. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. All right, so we'll go back to yesterday's and we'll do those again towards the end of the broadcast but now it's time to get into the devotional titled the price of service for this 19th day of march and it says here in john 10 11 b the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep and that's john 10 11 b and that's speaking of uh, jesus amen and today's author is cs that i believe is the initials for chris Staub. So, let me see here. Yep, that'd be Chris Staub, and he's the pastor of Silvery Lane Baptist Church in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. So, let me read you this type topic on the price of service. All right, he says, Lu Louisa came to America from England. At around 21 years of age, she surrendered her life to be a missionary at a camp meeting in Urbania, Ohio. She married a man named Stead, and they had a little girl named Lily. Louisa and her husband were excited about serving God and bringing folks to Christ. Amen. One sunny day, Louisa and her husband went to a park on Long Island Sound in New York while they were enjoying the day and dreaming of future plans when they would shepherd folks on the mission field. They heard the cry of a young boy drown drowning in the surf. <clears throat> Mr. Stead jumped up, ran into the water to save the boy, and tragically, they both drowned. Louisa went through some very dark times. However, it was out of this tragedy that she wrote the hymn, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." Amen. Good hymn there. Uh, she later did missionary work in Africa and shepherded folk to Christ. She and her husband had planned to serve and be like Christian shepherds. She never thought her husband would give his life for one sheep and that she would reach people for Christ in Africa. The last line of her well-known hymn reads, I'm so glad I learned to trust thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend, and I know that thou art with me, wilt be with me to the end. Thank God for those who pay the price to reach lost souls with the gospel. Amen. So let's take that to heart and take heed of that and uh, go out there and tell somebody about Jesus today. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So that is the price of service. 
uh, topic message from the Baptist Bread. And now it's time to get into the Boots on the Ground devotional. And this is from the book Boots on the Ground, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier, written by Randy Wells. And today's topic is titled Air Support. And this takes place on March 19, 1916. And the passage is from 1 Thessalonians 5.14. It says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. 1 Thessalonians 5.14. All right, so he writes here, uh, the author, uh, Brother Wells, writes here about air support. This event that takes place on March 6, 19, 1916, he writes here, Air support has been used in war since the Chinese used kites for gathering military intelligence. However, airplanes became the main type of military air support in World War I. Although America did not participate in the early years of World War I, an 11-month mission into Mexico prepared our military to fight in more ways than one, after receiving permission from Mexico's government, President Wilson sent Brigadier General John J. Pershing with 7,000 U.S. troops into Mexico to pursue and capture the bandit revolutionary Pancho Villa. After leading his guerrillas in a brutal raid against the town of Columbus, New Mexico, Pancho Villa fled back into Mexico to escape American justice. On 19 March 1916, American, American, uh, America used planes in combat for the first time <clears throat> during the 11 month, uh, months that the 1st Aero Squadron helped U.S. troops in Mexico. They flew hundreds of missions and gained the valuable experience needed for when America entered World War One. It is interesting to note that on this same month and day in 1928, another first was accomplished by combat air support. Uh, Marine Aviation conducted the first U.S. dive bombing mission to ward off uh, Nicaraguan guerrillas during their civil war. Just as our military depends on air support, so we as Christians must learn to support those who need help in their spiritual warfare. Many times Christian brothers and sisters need support from their church families in order to endure their spiritual battle. It might be a sick loved one or a job loss, but whatever the trial, we should be there to support them in their weakness. Amen. I have shewed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts twenty thirty five. Who do you know today that is going through a trial to whom you can give your support? Hmm. So you know anybody? Amen. <clears throat> All right. So that is the end of the topic for the Boots on the Ground, air support. Amen. All right, now it's time to sing today's hymn. And let me get this here. All right, so today's hymn is across the page from yesterday's hymn. Uh, yesterday we did Open Wide Ye Doors, and this is across the page on 296. Look, ye saints, the sight is glorious, or also known as Crown Him, Crown Him. Um, so this is an hymn. The Ascension of Christ, and this is written by Thomas Kelly, and he lived from 1969 to 1855, and William H. Monk, who lived from 1823 to 1889. <clears throat> Alright, so, let's play here. Ye saints, the sight is glorious. See the man of sorrows now. From the fight return victorious. Every knee to him shall bow. Crown him, crown him. Crowns become the victor's brow. Crown 
the Savior, angels crown him, rich the trophies Jesus brings. In the seat of power enthrone him, while the vault of heaven rings. Crown him, crown him, crown the Savior, King of kings. Sinners in derision crown him, mocking thus the Savior's claim. Saints and angels crowd around him, own his title, praise his name. Crown him, crown him, spread abroad the victor's fame. Hark those bursts of acclamation, hark those loud triumphant chords. Let Jesus take the highest station, oh what joy the sight affords. Crown him, crown him, King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Good hymn there. Praise God. All right. So that is the end of the hymn. Let me give you the references really quick here. Um, the first stanza has Isaiah 53.3, uh, Philippians 2.10, and then Revelation 19.12. And then the second stanza has Hebrews 1.7-9, Revelation 5.13, and 1 Timothy 6.15. And then the third stanza has Matthew 3. 27 29 revelation 5 11 through 14 and luke 4 37 and then the final stanza stanza 4 has revelation 19 6 ephesians 1 20 through 23 and revelation 19 16 amen uh, there is no story for this one but praise the lord for the hymn amen all right so now it's time to sing some scripture songs before we wrap it up for today Amen. All right, we'll do yesterday's and then conclude with today's. <clears throat> Psalms 145, 1 through 3. I, I will extol thee, thee, my God, O Lord. King, and I will, I will bless, bless thy name, name forever and ever. Every, Every day I will bless thee, and I will, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. And ever. Great, great is the Lord, Lord and, and greatly great to be praised, and, and his greatness is unsearchable. Amen. Here we go. Extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. <clears throat> First Timothy three sixteen. And, and without, without controversy, controversy great, great is the mystery of godliness. godliness. God, God was manifest in the flesh, justified, justified in the spirit, spirit seen of angels, angels preached unto, unto the Gentiles, Gentiles believed on in the world, in the world received up into glory. glory. Amen. Here we go. Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness, godliness, godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels. Reached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory, received up 
into glory. Receive up into glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist bread and the Boots on the Ground devotional. And tomorrow's um, scripture song is from Proverbs 20, verse 1. It says, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. So that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then the topic for tomorrow's Baptist bread is titled, The Character of the Crucified Man. And the passage is from Romans 6.11 and then 1 Corinthians 15.31. So that's tomorrow's Baptist bread. And then the Boots on the Ground topic will be titled, uh, A Prayer for Peace. And this event takes place on March 20, 1797. And the passage is from Jeremiah 8.11. So that will be tomorrow's <clears throat> Boots on the Ground. Amen. And then uh have to look up a hymn for tomorrow, unless you have one that you'd like to request. Um, feel free to do so in the comments section. And so, amen. All right. And if you'd like to get a copy of the Scripture Songs book and CDs are available, as always, as I say at the end of the broadcast, on uh, www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And then the that's where that's available. And that's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website. And they're missionaries to Port Kaituma. And um, they got back there a couple months ago. So pray for them. And also I uh, wanted to um, send out a special prayer request for um, Brother Mick Norton's uh Daughter, one of his daughters, um, she got uh, hurt pretty bad um, and stuff at uh, the job site where she was helping her father. And you probably know them from the Seminole String Band, so pray for her. And um, if you'd like to um, know how to uh, support and pray for them, I can uh, give you the information. Just let me know, and I will send it to you privately. Amen, because I'm not sure who they want me to uh, share it with. So, uh, amen, but pray for them. And uh, they do have a GoFundMe page, so um, I will um, see if it's okay to leave that information. Um, amen. But I'm sure it would be because uh, most people know about it already. So just let me know, and um, I will tell you more about that. Amen. All right, so that's uh, um, Becky Norton, uh, Brother Mick Norton's daughter. They're the Seminole String Band. You probably know about them, probably heard their their uh, music. Amen. Christian Christians. Uh, did, uh, did music ministry, so pray for them and that situation. All right, so um, this special prayer request uh, for them and her, amen. And then the uh, Baptist Bread devotional uh, information is www.baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org, and that's how you can get those. And then the Boots on the Ground uh, book is available online or perhaps at your local bookstore. That's the cover of it right there. And then finally we got the hymn book. This big thick hymn book uh, that was written by Melody Publications and that's on, found on MelodyPublications.com So get yourself a copy of that. Amen. So praise the Lord. Alright, well that'll be it for today's broadcast. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time. Bye for now.